Here's how I make custom size mailers from my cold food delivery bags. Okay, so I get a lot of these uh, from like uh, Whole Foods. If you order like cold foods delivered or whatever, you get a bunch of these bags. And I end up with a bunch, and I've used a bunch of them already for other stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this bag into a couple of these mailers. So I'm going to recycle this bag into like a uh, shipping stuff. So let me show you how I do it. Okay, first you cut, I'm gonna use uh, the factory edge on one, and then you cut it to size, right? So now it's open. So now we need to seal these three sides. So let's go do that. All right, here's the tools we're gonna be using. This is a uh, hair straightener, a ceramic faced flat iron, I guess. And you can see there's a little bit of residue in there from some HDPE. I was using that to fuse together before. And we'll be using this chunk of parchment paper. So let's let that get heated up and we'll get started. All right, let's seal up this edge first. Put the parchment on there. Now we're gonna want the, uh, to melt all the bubbles. You're gonna pop all the bubbles in there. They're gonna melt. And then, so what you're looking for is a nice smooth run all the way across. And when you feel that, then you'll know you're just about done. This looks pretty good. So I'm here at the end. There you go. So let's check and see how that did. Perfect. All right. So let's do this side. Uh, I was actually making smaller pouches today, so my my parchment isn't as long, so I have to do it in two sections. But that's no problem. Just go along, and so you can feel it fused together. And once it's nice and smooth, you'll know you're finished. Plus, even if you get it wrong, you can always go back and heat it up again. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah. That's done. Now let's just do the top portion. And I try and be careful here at the very top so I don't damage the, uh, the flap. And that feels good right there. Just like that. Let's test it out. Yep. That one's good to go. All right, so I made a couple of mailers and obviously you can make these any size you want and you don't have to use the, the factory edge if you don't want. So if you have something slightly bigger or smaller that you'd like to ship and you want more of a custom size, I just made these size because I tend to use this one a lot. So that's how I make my own mailer bags and really pouches for anything else you want to use. I made a lot of uh, custom pouches for ornaments this year. Anyway, uh, you have to decide for yourself, is this dangerous? You know, does it give off fumes? Uh, to me, not throwing these out in the trash was worth the risk of whatever fumes I might give out so that I could reuse them and, you know, reduce my waste. But anyway, have a good one.